Hello kids, welcome back. I trust all is well with you and your family throughout this week because God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. Our lesson for today is about being alone. No one wants to be alone and it's scary. But remember, God is with you. So don't be afraid when you're alone. Before we turn it over to Miss Kay for your lesson today, please bow your heads and let's pray. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, thank you for waking us up this beautiful morning. Thank you for your love, grace, and blessings upon us. Thank you for your Son, Jesus, and your Holy Spirit. Please forgive us for our sins. God, please continue to protect and watch over us. Bless the Ma and Tina and the family. Bless our whole Ecclesia, especially our Sunday school. We love you, Jesus. Bless you, Wafa Yesu. Amen. Amen. We've talked about a lot of scary things in the past month. And that's because there's a lot of scary things going on right now. We talked about how scary it can be to try new things. We've talked about how scary it is to be in need and not have enough of something. And we've talked about our fear of pain and getting hurt. Today, we're going to talk about one more fear. The fear of being alone. Now, I know a boy, and his job at home was to take out the trash every night. He had to tie up the bag, walk it through the garage, around the house, and put it in the trash can. Now, we found out that he was scared to do this job. Some nights, we'd hear him running outside because he didn't close the door all the way. Some mornings, we'd find the trash bag on the side of the house in the grass but not all the way in the trash bin because he threw it and missed. But he wasn't afraid when he was inside the house with his family and everyone was there. He was only afraid when he was alone. Now, thankfully, nothing bad ever happened to this boy. No trash monsters ever got him and he is safe and healthy right now. But that doesn't mean that being alone isn't scary. For some people, it's very scary. Imagine if you didn't have your parents or grandparents, or maybe you didn't have any friends you could talk to. Imagine if you didn't have your siblings to share your life with. It's a scary thought, isn't it? Well, today, our lesson is about Elijah, who even though he did really great things for God, was afraid when he ended up alone. 1 Kings 19, verses 1 through 18, explain, Elijah was one of God's greatest prophets, he is a man who did great things for the Lord. He lived in the times before Jesus came to earth, and God picked Elijah specifically to hear him. After one of Elijah's greatest triumphs, he found himself alone. He was so alone and so sad, he wanted to die. It was then that God stepped in and showed him that as long as Elijah kept his faith in God, he would never be alone. So Elijah went from this moment of great victory to a moment of great despair where he was super sad. He had just shown the wicked King Ahab and all the people of Israel that God was the one true God. He had also brought rain back to Israel after a long drought. But when Jezebel, the queen, learned of Elijah's victory, she sent her men to kill him. So Elijah ran. He ran for his life. And he ended up all by himself in the desert. He felt alone and he felt abandoned. He felt like he was the only man of God left. He had no friends, no followers, no one to side with him. He felt completely alone and he was scared. But he was not alone. God sent his angels to care for him. Then God went and spoke to Elijah himself. God showed Elijah that he was never alone. 
God was already planning to continue Elijah's work in his lifetime and even after. So when we place our faith in God, God shows us how faithful he already is. He will stay near us and he'll never abandon us. So we have no reason to fear being alone because if we believe in God, we are never alone. Elijah had a unique one-on-one relationship with God. Because he lived in the time before Jesus, he was one of the few people who got to speak to God directly and hear God's voice. But the good news for us is that we can all have that personal relationship now because Jesus, God's son, made a way for us that if we invite him into our hearts, he'll place the Holy Spirit there who can help us communicate with God. God can show himself through prayer, through the reading of his word, the Bible. God can speak to us through lessons we learn about him and about all the wonderful things and promises he has for us. And you'll never be alone because God's Holy Spirit is with you. So no matter how sad you may be, no matter how few friends you think you have, you will always have a companion. God has great plans for you, just as he did Elijah. And God also wants to know you and let you know him personally, just like Elijah. It all begins with a simple invitation. So the invitation I talked about is really simple. All you've got to do is say, Lord, I love you. And I know that Jesus died and made a way for me. Please enter my heart and be with me forever. And that's all you have to do. Isn't that amazing? And someone will be with you for the rest of your life. So if you're ever alone, if you're ever scared, if you feel yourself getting anxious or worried, if you need to take the trash out at home in the dark, just remember, God is always with you. So please bow your heads, close your eyes, hold your arms and your legs, and repeat after me. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you that we are never alone. Please be with us throughout this week. God bless our church. God bless those who are alone. And God bless our soldiers. In Jesus' name we pray and everyone says, Amen. You guys have a wonderful week. Thank you for watching. Bye. That's our lesson for today, kids. I hope you all enjoy it. Uh, Please continue to pray. Share it with your families and friends. God bless you and keep you safe. Till next time. I love you all. Bye-bye.